Kia ora guys, it's Chief Snake here from RSBNB and today I'm going to be showing you how to make yourself a clan banner. I've just been browsing the RSBNB forums and going through the clan recruitment section I had a look at some of the websites that have been posted and to be honest I was a bit shocked at the quality of some of the banners which as you can see here are not really that amazing except for a couple like that one maybe that one require quite a bit of effort so I think you all deserve to be able to create your own we're gonna open up Photoshop uh, press Control N to create a new document with a width of 750 pixels and a height of 130 pixels don't be too worried if your Photoshop um, workspace looks a bit different to mine because I'm using an old version Photoshop CS whereas you'll probably be using a new version CS2 or CS3 so where can we get some pictures from I've already got mine here Shane sent me these earlier fortunately because I had to make a sig for him just a few of them here So which one of those look the best? I'm going to take that one here. And maybe a farming one because farming is awesome. Yeah, why not that one? And I'm going to put some of them into my banner. Now I've already actually got my SIG made up, so I'm going to use the background from that. But I will kind of talk you through it if you don't know how to. Basically, select your background with the marquee tool, copy it, and paste. I'm just going to drag mine straight from the SIG into the banner, and align it like so. But it's not going to be big enough, so I'm going to use a cheating little trick and copy part of it and just paste it back again you can easily rub that bit out with the eraser and make it look like it blends perfectly so that's the basic background for my sig now I'm going to grab another character and put it on the right side because the sig the um the clan banner needs to be balanced on both sides I've already got this guy cut out as well so I'm going to get him from that sig, chuck him on the banner. Okay, so now we have a basic balanced background. I'm going to spruce it up a bit because it looks quite boring at the moment, doesn't it? I'm going to grab a brush. Um, let's make it a bit grungy. Stick some grunge in there. Oh, well, maybe it's a bit too grungy. Try not to repeat the brushes too much. I'm really shocking at that. I do it all the time. Then, of course, you can change the color, invert it to white from black. And somewhere in between doing that you might want to change the blending mode to overlay or soft light. Soft light usually works the best. For the sake of simplicity for me, I'm just going to grab the background from the other banner and put it in there. So that's basically what mine looks like. Um, now we're going to do something a bit funny. We're going to go to image, apply, create a new layer, go to image, apply image and filter, render, and lighting effects. I've already got mine set up, but you want to change the light type to Omni, and then adjust this circle here until it looks a little something like that. Just make it so that the circle is just, um, just missing the characters on either side of your banner. The lighting will be something like that, and that's the kind of thing you want, so that the text will stand out in the middle. The characters on either side will just be supporting it. Um, so there we have a very quick but 
impressive background. I'm going to start on the text now. So select your text tool, change to a font you'd like on the banner. Um, usually it's just something simple will do. I'm going to use the Garamond font and type in my clan name here. Just a disclaimer, RSBNB is not actually a clan. Get the size to around something you'd like. And because my lighting is a bit off, I'm not going to have it exactly in the center, but I am going to use the alignment tools to get it in the vertical center. There's where the center would be, but I'm going to move it across a bit so that it's closer to the character on the right because there is that black um, grungy bit there. So that looks really boring. We're going to change the blending options now. Um, first of all, first and foremost, you want to change the fill opacity to zero. That just makes it so that the black doesn't come through anything, just in case you happen to be changing those sorts of options. Um, always use a gradient overlay on practically anything. Um, black will be fine for this. You can pick colors from the background itself and make them a bit darker if you want. That sometimes works well. And I'm just going to make mine fading from black to green. Um, you almost always want a drop show, but before that, we're going to use an outer glow. Not too bright or too dark. And then maybe I'll just leave it without a drop shadow for this. Um, to spruce it up a bit, we can duplicate that layer. Move it down and underneath the other layer and get rid of the gradient overlay then we can change the opacity so that it's not as visible that just gives it a tad, makes it a tad bit more exciting um, you can duplicate the original text layer edit transform and flip vertical oh look at that my 10 minutes is already up anyway I have to be quick as I said we're gonna flip that vertically move it down a little bit for now grab the eraser rasterize it by just clicking anywhere change the diameter and the hardness to zero and erase the bottom of it then we'll move that down just below our, the text, the main text and change the opacity oops that doesn't look perfect because I rasterized it after I flipped it but anyway that's fine for now um, Last but not least, we're going to add a bit of a quote there. Because I don't have much time, I'm just going to grab what I did off the other banner, which looks virtually the same as it is now. Um, my quote is already in a folder. How handy. I'm so glad I did that. And I'm going to put that right next to the RSBNB main title text. To get the um, effects on that, what I basically did was change the drop shadow to a size of 0 and a distance of a 1 which makes it a very sharp drop shadow, the sharpest it can get because of its size and it's only one pixel um, offset. The gradient overlay is pretty much the same as the main text and the outer glow is an almost greenish yellow really bright color. Of course every banner and every sig needs a border for this one, I'm going to make a new layer, select all, go to edit stroke, and use the color black for a start, and that is going to be a location inside. I'm going to select that again, control shift I to invert selection, which will put it one pixel in, then go edit stroke, and this time make it white. Deselect select that layer again, control shift I and once more edit stroke change it to black and then OK and we'll change that um, to either soft light or overlay. Overlay usually works best because you keep the um, strong black tones rather than lose them. And there you have it, your finished clan banner. If this worked out for you, which I hope it did, even though I'm not the greatest at explaining things, or even if it didn't work, I invite you to come join RSBNB's forums and would love to see some of your outcomes posted in our Graphics Central. This has been Chief Snake of the RSBNB Events Crew. See you later.